Hi, welcome. So today is December 31st, so Happy New Year. And I, my name's Jolie and I do, uh, right now I'm doing uh, a series of videos that I'm reading from my 12 step recovery program. And this particular one is called Al-Anon. And I read the days, the daily uh, message from Courage to Change and from one day at a time. So here we go. If you wanna read along with me and thank you for watching, read along with me on December 31st, it's page 366, Encourage to Change. And um, here we go. Now that the year is at an end, I will take a few minutes to contemplate the progress I've made and to thank my higher power for my growth. What did I do to contribute to my success this year? Perhaps it, is, it was as, as simple as a profound, uh, as daring to come to my first meeting or to listen to someone who's reading this literature or reading the book um, or to keep coming even when it is difficult. So how have I reached out to others in the fellowship this year? Did I set out literature, chairs at a meeting, clean up? Perhaps I welcomed a newcomer or gave them my phone number. Maybe I asked someone to be my sponsor or opened up more deeply to the sponsor I already had. Have I thanked that person for all they've given me? Have I recognized my growing ability to love and trust others? Perhaps I finally understood the first step or really committed myself to working some of the others. Maybe I had the faith and courage to make some hard decisions. I'm discovering that I do play an important part in my own well-being. I will celebrate my achievements and be grateful for all I have been given. I'm not perfect, but I am excellent. In today's reminder, I'm grateful for the Al-Anon program and all that my higher power has given me. I look forward to an even brighter new year. And there's a quote from a book called In All Our Affairs. It's an Al-Anon material book. And quote, it says, um, I'm learning to treat myself as if I am valuable. I find that when I practice long enough, I begin to believe it. Nice. I'll go ahead and read the 12 steps since it's uh, December 31st. I will go ahead and that's actually on the next page. I'm gonna read the 12 steps and here we go. Study of these steps is essential to progress in the al program. The principles they embody are universal, applicable to everyone, whatever his personal creed. In Al-Anon, we strive for an ever deeper understanding of these steps and pray for the wisdom to apply them to our lives. Number one, we admitted we were powerless over alcohol or addiction, fill in the blank for you, that our lives had become unmanageable. Number two, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves could restore us to sanity. Number three, made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood him. Number four, made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. Number five, admitted to God, or your higher power, whatever, as you understand him, to ourselves, admitted to ourselves, and to another human being, the exact nature of our wrongs. Six, we're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. Seven, humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings. Eight, made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. Number nine, made direct amends to such people wherever possible except when to do so would injure them or others. Number 10, 
continued to take personal inventory and when we're off, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> sorry. Mm. <coughs> Choking. All right, so let's start again. So continue, number 10, continue to take personal inventory and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. Number 11, sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood him, praying only for knowledge of his will for us and the power to carry that out. And number 12, Having had a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to others and to practice these principles in all our affairs. So there you go. In between some choking. Interesting. All right. So what's my thought for that? I think that's a great one for, uh, for me. Uh, uh, you know, it's the end of the year. Uh, time to make resolution. Uh, I'd like to make a resolution that I'll just continue with my spiritual practice. I will continue uh, reading my material and showing up and helping other people when I can. Um, if, if you'd like to um, leave a comment, if there's anything that I can answer for you or, or put you um, in a direction towards, um, I, um, I've been in this program now, um, it's 20, it's, it's December 31st, 2020. So as of now, I've been in the program for a little over a year and it's helped me a lot just to clear away the debris and the depression that, um, I was, I was dragging along with me throughout my life and, um, allowed me to have acceptance forgiveness. Uh, I'm not perfect. Uh, I'm working on not reacting. Uh, it's just a daily thing where I do readings. I talk to uh, another person um, in the program, actually many friends, and um, I do a lot of journaling. And um, this practice is helping me because it's, it's encouraging me to read. And I can relate to the stories. I'm not comparing myself, which is hard to do, not to compare myself. But what I do is I just, I, I consider these things. These, this is like my new intuition. It's, it's like starting to work in the way I think. And it's been helpful. That's all I can say. My relationships are getting better every day. So um, I'll go ahead and read real quickly. So it's not to keep you too long. The December 31st, page 366 at one day at a time in Al-Anon. And this hair is crazy and I'm coughing. Okay, so good. All right, here we go. December 31st. This is the day on which another year closes. It is a good time for a quiet, honest look at my personal progress. Has it been a good year? Better than those which went before, has the day-to-day -day guidance of the Al-Anon program brought me to a greater realization and acceptance of myself, the unique individual I am? If I have regrets for errors or omissions, I will dismiss them. The new year which lies before me has no time for futile regrets. I will live just one day at a time making each one better than the last as I grow in confidence and faith. And today's reminder, again, I resolve to live the coming year one day at a time, easing myself of the burdens of the past and the uncertainties of the future. Whatever may come, I will meet it with a serene mind. And the quote from Romans, I'm not sure that must be the Bible or something, right? So, and here we go. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. 
Okay. And so on the next page is the serenity prayer and a few slogans from Al-Anon. Uh, so I'll read the slogans for Al-Anon, just a few of these, just to reflect. And these slogans are used in the same way as the serenity prayer to seek spiritual guidance in dealing with our conflicts and challenges. Groups, are, groups use the slogans as subjects for meetings. Individuals use them as reminders in times of stress. Listed below are the slogans which this book discusses. However, many other slogans are popular and have been helpful to Al-Anon members, such as, but for the grace of God, keep an open mind, how important is it? Let go and let God, easy does it, live and let live, first things first, one day at a time, keep it simple, think, listen and learn. And um, they sound like cliches when I first heard them, right? But they are applicable in, in everyday life. So, and um, they're like cute, beautiful simplicities that keep life simple. So the serenity prayer, um, just to say what it is, the, this prayer is read at most group meetings and is often analyzed in group discussions. It also serves as inspiration to individuals in daily meditation. So with that, I wanna wish you a happy new year. All the best, just one day at a time or one minute at a time and take the pause when you need to take the pause. Um, your serenity is the most important Thing for you so that uh, you can you can have some quiet for yourself and be able to cope with everyday life so and that's just my opinion so you can take it or leave it so um, with that uh, we'll take a nice deep breath in and out and the serenity prayer if you'd like to join with me or just listen along and um, if you want to like it, um, like this video, I'd really appreciate it. Just press the like button. And then if you'd like to subscribe, I am planning on continuing this as well as uh, uh, I have some ideas for other series of videos as well. So thank you. And here we go. Deep breath in. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change the courage to change the things we can and wisdom to know the difference. God's will, not ours be done. Pray for God's will, amen. And keep coming back, it works if you work it. Thank you, love you. See you tomorrow or see you next year. <laughs>